And I had some stuff planned, but it seems like I'm going to be pushed for time, so I'm probably going to do some freestyle and editing it. But here, here's the Vic Commander on bass. <laughs> So if you come in at you get to hear gnarly bass, me get to slam the subs with the subsection of the big commander. Woo! All right, and then my favorite thing to do with the big commander is like I, I like to throw tentacle on it. Tentacle is like an Octavia octave up. So you put that octave up with the big commander and it just kind of helps me get a little bit more definition. I just start stacking shit. This is what I do in my studio. I don't know if anybody knows who I am, but I have a website that I do with Nick Reinhardt. It's called pedalsandeffects.com. And so I get to do this all day long when I'm home, when I am home. But I just sit there and like weird out. And next thing I know, I'm getting calls from my wife going, are you making dinner? And I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. You know, you gotta eat. But remember to eat. But yes, it's just stacking sounds. and. You know, the pedals kind of dictate where you're going to go with this. At least for me, it does. Like, I hear what I'm doing, and then I just start stacking things on top just to, like, see where I can go. And if I really like something, then I just remember it and I record it or whatever, and then I use it for something I'm using. I've never played this bass riff before. I mean, yeah, it's a basic riff. I, I might not use that, but I, all the time I come up with stuff and I go... I'll be, you know, just messing around, looping stuff, and I'll go, oh, I gotta hustle and go hit the logic, record it. And this is, this is how I think fundamental rock music goes. Like, you can either jam with the band, but if you don't have a band and it's just you in your room, I mean, this is how you do it. And the more you add, the further out you get. So buy all these pedals, and then watch. You'll, come, you'll write to me and go, damn, dude, you're right. I've written 10 records. They're all instrumental, but and it's just me. But hey, it works. So I'm gonna just continue to go through, and let me make sure I know. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what's on because the sun's hitting the the lights on the effects. Organizer's on. All right, cool. Here's another sound. I kind of bit Nick Reinhardt on this because he's the one who kind of stumbled into it, and it's <laughs> it's the avalanche avalanche run, which is a delay, but. Nick and I use it for the ring modular, I'm sorry, ring mod, ring mod uh, sound on it. So you'll hear it. 
possessed? You hear the ring modulated? You're like, what? A delay gets that sound? Yeah, I don't know how Jamie did it. I don't even know if he intended on doing that. Did he, Nick? No. Jamie didn't plan that, right? Did you plan on that? Wow, you're over there. Jamie, I can't see you because you're in the speaker. There you are. Did you plan on that? Oh, okay. Well, guess what? Nick kind of stumbled on it, and I love ring mod, so I'm always using it. So listen to that on bass. I'm already in space with that. It's really hot and humid, and Carl, I mean, sorry, uh, Aaron's bass is actually fretting out because the humidity is tweaking it. So uh, I'm going to actually use that loop, but I'm going to switch instruments because this neck is not handling it. I'm going to go to the electrical guitar, which is an aluminum neck, and it won't move because it's aluminum. Oh. <laughs> well, all right, so. That loop I would actually use. I think that sounds tight. And so I'll hopefully somebody's recording this. Oh, I guess they are. So then I'll ape that. That's mine, copyright right now. So, but th that's what I mean. Like, this is how you get creative, and this is what inspires music. Is it's, it's yes, granted, it's your playing in your head, all that. Everybody knows that. But what you might not know, which is why you would be watching this or watching me, is because you want to know, wow, can I be inspired by the sounds? And of course you can. This is the modern day, and you know people are doing it in laptops, but we do it with this. We do it with our instruments, going through these these effects and morphing them into just bizarre sounds. So at this point, I want to ask quick, is there any questions? You can ask me about anything. OK, then I'm going to keep moving. And so um, let me go into a couple other sounds of pedals that I like. Uh, a favorite of mine is using any kind of dirt pedal with uh, the hummingbird, which is what I'm going to do tonight. That sound alone, I'd use on records. I'd probably overuse it. And so, again, just it's one thing to have a fuzz before uh, and then a, a tremolo after it, and it's the best tremolo on the market. And then follow it with the best phaser made right now, and that's the Grand Orbiter. And then that's where you get that synthetic sound. So here's just the Eruptor fuzz. I'm sorry, that isn't just that. That's This is just it. Then you add the Hummingbird. And then you add the syntheticness.
that's some weird stacking. But see how you start, I started hearing other things that I felt would complement the initial, like just chopped up, distorted signal. So I, at the end, I put the spatial delivery for the envelope filter complement of it. That gives any time you go into an envelope filter with bass, it's funk. It's just that's like Bootsy Collins started that. And so you hear instantly funkiness. And so I heard a weird bass line. I go, oh, it needs some funkiness to give it some rhythm and some you know, ass shaking element. And so I threw the envelope filter on it. And so again, this is just for inspiring you guys to think about coming out and, and changing your sound and watch what happens. I mean, I don't know anybody who's gone, yeah, I bought a bunch of pedals and I was bored with it. It didn't make any sense to me. So I went back to just plugging straight into the amp. I mean, I do plug straight into the amp for gigs, but this is, this is something that I've taken in at least the music that I do and it's gone way out. So this is all started from me just sitting in a room and just dialing in sounds, making colors happen.